In just a bit, we'll get a look at the Fed minutes and the market will be wanting to parse through the release to see if the language is showing consistency with what has been a different kind of message coming out in Fed speak in the lead up to the release. That message came through again on Wednesday with the Fed chair sounding decidedly less hawkish in his address at the Economic Club of New York. On the topic of the neutral rate back in October, Powell had said that the Fed funds rate was probably a long way off from neutral, and yet on Wednesday, what we heard was quite a departure with rates all of a sudden just below the broad range of estimates of the level that would be neutral for the economy. So what's changed? It seems there is a growing concern about downside risks associated with a lag effect to rate hikes already seen that have yet to work through the system. This in conjunction with a healthy but still fragile recovery and growing risks on the global trade front could be factoring into the Fed's thinking. And so the prospect that the Fed will consider a pause is being taken more seriously now, which has moved those yield differentials back out of the dollar's favor. From a technical standpoint, if the euro extends this latest run out from the 112.15 area 2018 low and managed to break back above 115, it should send a message that the Fed has indeed reconsidered its stance, much to the pleasure of the president, who has been critical of Fed tightening for quite some time. That's all for now.